Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Cyber Hashira. In my last video, I talked about a Java utility called JarSigner. I talked about what JAR files are, how to create them, how to sign and verify them properly. However, the signing keys that I use were stored in a software based key store. It is not recommended to store a private key used for code signing on a file system. Instead, it is a good idea to use a device such as USB token, smart card, or a hardware security module. I have access to a Luna Cloud HSM from Thales. So in this video, I'll teach you how to safely generate your signing keys in a Luna Cloud HSM and use those keys with Jar Signer. So let's get into it. There are two ways to use Luna HSM for signing JAR files. You can use SunPK CS11 provider or Luna provider. I'll start with SunPK CS11 because it can be used with many type of PK CS11 compatible devices from various vendors. Luna provider on the other hand is a Java security provider that only works with Luna HSM. I have made videos on both SunPK CS11 and Luna provider. They are available on this channel. Please watch those videos if you are interested to know more about them. I have five files in this directory. My issuing.sir, this is my issuing certificate, this is my root certificate, this is the pkcs11 configuration file, this is the jar file that I will be uh, signing and this is my trust store. My trust store has my root certificate and my issuing certificate. Let me open uh, pkcs11.cfg for you. So this is what my pkcs11.cfg looks like. I will be uploading this uh, uh, pkcs11.cfg on my GitHub repository. Uh, actually, I think it is already there. Uh, you should be able to find it. All right, so I'll clear the screen. I'll start by generating my signing key. So I already have a command in my notepad. I'll paste it here. So key tool dash gen key dash alias, this is the alias, key alg is RSA, key size is 2048, the signing algorithm is SHA-256 with RSA, this certificate or uh, the self-signed certificate will be valid for 730 days, this is the common name, I am using a critical key usage of digital signature and an extended key usage of code signing key store is none, store type is pkcs11, provider name is sun pkcs11 cloud hsm and this is the provider class and obviously we have pkcs11.cfg or p11.cfg which is the provider argument. When I hit enter it should ask for the password and I have generated my keys. Uh, the second thing I need to do is generate a certificate request. So I am going to copy my next command, copy this and paste it here. So key tool dash certrec which is used for generating certificate request. I am telling certrec to use signing key as the alias. Key store is none, store type is pkcs11. Provider name is cloud, uh, sun pkcs11 cloud hsm. Provider class is this, provider argument is p11.cfg and I will be saving the certificate signing request into a file called signingkey.csr. I'm going to hit enter, right, it's, uh, it's asking for my password. Signingkey.csr is generated, so we should have a CSR file here. Um, at. So this is my certificate signing request. I'm going to pass this certificate signing request to my OpenSSL CA and get a signed certificate. I have my signed certificate. So here's my signed certificate. I don't need the CSR so I'll just uh, remove it. Less clutter. 
Okay, so we have the issuing CSR, I have the root CSR, and the signing key. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll create a P7B file. So the command is open SSL CRL to PKCS7 no CRL cert file. I'll start with my root. The next one I need is my issuing. And I need uh I need my signing key. And the output is going to be signing key dot p7b. Hit enter. And here's my p7b file. I'll clear the screen. And now I'm going to import that p7b file into uh, my Sun PKCS11 or my Cloud HSM using this command. So key tool dash import cert alias. I'm importing certificate for signing key. Uh, key store is none, store type is pkcs11. This is the provider name, sun pkcs11 cloud hsm, and this is the provider class. Provider argument is my configuration file, and the file that I'm, I want to import is signing key.p7b. I'll hit enter, and it's asking for my password, so. All right, um, da, 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 is not trusted. Install reply anyways. Yes, please. Hit enter. Certificate reply was installed in key store. Okay. Let me run the next command to list the content of my PKCS11 key store. So, it's a general key to list command. So key to list dash key store done store type PKCS11 provider class this provider argument my configuration file and I need a verbose output. I'll enter my password. And I have the output. Let's uh, scroll up. Okay, so it's a PKCS11 key store type. This is the provider that I'm using. It contains one entry, that's my signing key. It has uh, three certificates in the chain. The first certificate is obviously my signed certificate, which was issued by my issuing. And if I scroll down, I should see my issuing certificate. And if I scroll further down, I should see my root certificate. Okay, perfect. Let's sign a jar file. I already have my jar file ready, so I will be signing solarsystem.jar. Let's see if it is already signed or not. So jar signer dash verify verify solarsystem.jar and it says jar is unsigned. Okay. I have the command for signing the jar file. I'll copy it from here. And here it is. So jar signer, key store, none, store type, pkcs11, provider name, sun pkcs11, cloud, hsm, and the other usual stuff. Sign jar, ssp11.jar. So I am telling jar signer to create a new jar file uh, with the signature. For timestamping authority, I am using this URL. SolarSystem.jar is the jar file that I want to sign. Signing key is the alias of the key that will be used for signing this jar file. I'll hit enter. All right, the password. And it says jar is signed along with a warning which I talked about in my previous video and it says the signer certificate is valid till this and the timestamp will expire on this date. I'll clear the screen and let's do verify. So jar signer dash verify SS and it says jar verified. If I do dash key store, if I use my trust store, Key store. 
and now there is no warning. Let's do a verbose output. So I'll clear the screen and do dash V or sorry, verbose. And check this out. So all the class files are signed. I am getting SMK and here's the uh, signing certificate and here's the timestamping authority. And it says jar is verified. And that's how you sign a jar file using Sun PKCS 11. By the way, I forgot to show you that my signing keys are stored in my cloud HSM. So I'm going to use my CMU utility. CMU is a part of uh, Luna Client. It is a client software that you need to install in order to uh, uh, use uh, a Luna HSM. All right, it's asking for a password. Okay. And I have an output. So these are the four objects that I have in my cloud HSM. This is the, uh, the private key. And the other three without label, I believe these are the uh, certificates. So one of them is a signing certificate and my issuing certificate and my root certificate. I will now show you how to sign a jar file using Luna provider. I will pause this video recording now. I will, del I will be deleting all these uh, keys, do some cleanup and make sure everything is set up correctly before I begin. And I have deleted all keys I had in my cloud HSM, revoked the certificate that I issued and configured my Luna provider statically. Okay, so now I'm in, the, in my Luna HSM directory. I have five files in this directory. I'm sure you're familiar with my root, my issuing, and the solarsystem.jar, which is an unsigned jar that I will be signing. Trust store contains my root and my issuing. And then we have luna.ks, which is, so if I do cat slot colon zero. The cloud HSM that I've configured on my uh, machine, uh, it has a slot number of zero. And that's what I have mentioned over here. All right, I'll clear the screen. I'm going to copy the command, which I will be using to generate key using Luna provider. Okay, so this is the command key tool dash gen key dash alias my signing key, RSA key 2048, 730 days of validity, SHA 256 with RSA. This is the uh, distinguished name. Uh, critical key usage of uh, digital signature, critical extended key usage of code signing, key store is luna.ks, store type is luna. I'll hit enter. And I'm going to enter my slot password. Hit enter. And my signing key is generated. Next thing I'm going to do is I'll create my or I'll generate my CSR file. So for that, I have my next command. And here's the command for generating a certificate request. It's the same command. I'm just passing luna.ks as the key store and the key store type is Luna. I'll hit enter. Right, I've entered the password. And my CSR is generated. Where's the CSR? Here's the CSR. Let's view the CSR. And here's my CSR. I will now pass this CSR to my uh, OpenSSL CA and get a signed certificate. I have my CSR now. Sorry, not CSR, uh, my signed certificate now. So here's my signed certificate. I don't need the CSR, so I'll just uh, remove it. Okay. All right, signing key.csr. Now I'm going to create a P7B file. So open SSL CRL to PKCS7 no CRL cert file my root cert file my issuing cert file uh, what's the name of it signing key.cr out 
signing key.p7b. Hit enter. And here's my p7b file. Okay, I'll clear the screen. And now I will import this p7b file into my cloud HSM using this command. So key tool dash import cert key store luna.ks store type is luna. This is the alias and uh, this is the p7b file. I will hit enter. Enter my password. Okay, I'm getting a message that says da 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 is not trusted. Install reply anyways. Of course. Go ahead. Certificate reply was installed in key store. Let's do CMU list. Let's see uh, what objects do I have in my cloud HSM. Okay, so these are the objects that I have. This is the private key. This is my uh, signed certificate. This is my issuer certificate. And this is my root certificate. In Luna Provider, this is how a certificate chain is stored in uh, the cloud HSM when you try to import it using uh, Luna Provider. So Cert0 will always be the signing certificate. Uh, Cert1 is going to be the issuer and cert2 is going to be the root certificate okay let's sign a jar file now and to sign my jar file i will use this command copy and paste okay so jar signer key store luna.ks store type luna sign jar ss.jar this is my timestamping authority solar system dot jar is an unsigned jar and this is my uh, this is the alias of my signing key i'll hit enter okay it's asking for password and my jar file is signed ss dot jar I'll clear the screen. Let me copy this label. I'll clear the screen and I'll do jar signer dash verify ss and I want to use my trust store and I need a verbose output. So when I hit enter, these are my class files. We are seeing smk right next to it. This is my, uh, this is a signer and this is the uh, timestamping authority and here it says jar verified. And that's how you sign a jar file using Luna provider. Well, that's it. Uh, that's all I have for you in this video. I will upload my notes containing all commands I used in this video. So you should be able to find it on my GitHub page. Uh, link is in the description below. And please don't forget to like this video if you liked it. You can also support me by subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with those who might be interested. I'll hopefully see you soon with something new in my next video. See ya.